Components of Information System 1. Computer Hardware This is the physical technology used for input, output, and processing. Hardware can be as small as a smartphone that fits in a pocket, or as large as a supercomputer that fills a building, depending on the type of organization. Hardware also includes the peripheral devices, that work with computers, such as keyboards, external disk drives, iPads, and routers. With the rise of the Internet of Things, in which anything from home appliances, to cars, to clothes, will be able to receive and transmit data, sensors that interact with computers, are permeating the human environment. 2. Computer Software. The hardware needs to know what to do, and that is the role of software. Software is not tangible it cannot be touched. When programmers create software programs, what they are really doing is simply typing out lists of instructions, that tell the hardware what to do. Software can be divided into two types, system software and application software. The primary piece of system software is the operating system, such as Microsoft Windows on a personal computer, and iOS or Google's Android on a mobile phone, which manages the hardware's operation, and makes it usable. Application software, is designed for specific tasks, and does something useful such as, handling a spreadsheet, creating a document, or designing a web page. Examples of application software are Microsoft Excel, and Angry Bird. 3. Network. Networks resources refer to the telecommunication networks like the intranet, extranet, and the internet. These resources facilitate the flow of information in the organization. Hardware connects through wires, such as Ethernet cables or fiber optics, or wireless, such as through Wi-Fi. A network can be designed, to tie together computers in a specific area, such as an office or a school, through a local area network LAN. If computers are more dispersed, the network is called a wide area network WAN. The Internet itself can be considered a network of networks. Networks consist of both the physical devices, such as networks cards, routers, hubs and cables and software such as operating systems, web servers, data servers and application servers. Telecommunications networks consist of computers, communications processors, and other devices interconnected by communications media and controlled by software. Networks include communication media, and network support. Besides the components of hardware, software, and data, which have long been considered the core technology of information systems, it has been suggested that one other component should be added, communication. An information system can exist without the ability to communicate. The first personal computers were stand-alone machines, that did not access the Internet. However, in today's hyper-connected world, it is an extremely rare computer, that does not connect to another device or to a network. Technically, the networking communication component is made up of hardware and software, but it is such a core feature of today's information systems, that it has become its own category. 4. Databases and data warehouses. This component is where the data that the other components work resides. Data are the raw facts and figures that are unorganized, that are, and later processed, to generate information. For example, street address, the city you live in, and your phone number are all pieces of data. Like software, data is also intangible. By themselves, pieces of data are not really very useful. But aggregated, indexed, and organized together into a database, data can become a powerful tool for businesses. Softwares is used for organizing and serving data to the user, managing physical storage of media and virtual resources. As the hardware can't work without software, the same as software needs data for processing. Data is managed using a database management system. A database is a place where data is collected, and from which it can be retrieved by querying it, using one or more specific criteria. A data warehouse contains all of the data in whatever form, that an organization needs. Databases and data warehouses have assumed even greater importance in information systems with the emergence of, big data, a term for the truly massive amounts of data, that can be collected and analyzed. Organizations collect all kinds of data and use it to make decisions. These decisions can then be analyzed, as to their effectiveness and the organization can be improved. 
5. Human resources and procedures. It is associated with the human element, the manpower that is needed to run and manage the system, and the procedures to follow so that the knowledge in the huge databases, and data warehouses can be turned into learning that can interpret what happened in the past, and guide future action. People are the end user of the information system. End users use information produced for their own purpose. The main purpose of the information system is to benefit the end user. People are also responsible for developing and operating information systems. They include systems analysts, computer operators, programmers, and other clerical as personnel, and managerial techniques.